guess what, folks? We got another toy. Um, my buddy had me go pick it up from Arkansas about a week ago. And uh, I'm pretty excited. It's a fun little uh, project we're going to have to mess around with. Let's go check it out. So what are you working on, man? My abs. Your abs? Little filters. On um, On your new toy? Yeah. It'd be nicer if it was like a foot higher, but whatever. Well, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Here you go, guys. 93. Dakota factory 5.2 V8 automatic truck. It's uh it's a little rough as you can see. The uh hood looks terrible. Paint needs some love. But overall it's a really really cool little ride. Um it came with uh, Dakota RT 17 inch wheels on it, uh, which is awesome. It's actually came a little lowered, which is cool. And Greg bought this, so this is his little Dakota. And uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you would know that we grew up in high school. And we both drove Dakotas, so uh, I'm putting an LS in mine, and he's going to be driving this one. So it's reliving our glory days, I guess you could say. So it's a pretty cool truck overall. We didn't buy it for much, and that's what's cool about it because we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So. We're going to do like a tune-up and uh, a few things that just uh, some maintenance things need to be done. Change the oil and uh, maybe even put a muffler on it. And uh, we'll see uh, see how she does and it'll be part of the fleet. So we bought another, another Dakota. So this is a seal filter for Greg's Dakota. And it looks like it's seen, seen better days. Oh, dude, that thing is done. <laughs> it didn't even want to blow out. Yeah. So not the most best recommended way to test a fuel filter, but if there's any resistance when you're trying to blow through it, it means it's not any good. It doesn't taste good either. Yeah, there's a lot of resistance there, and that's going to help the truck run a lot better. So Greg's underneath there putting a new one in. I did it with this one here and it was just easy blow through. Nice, like no resistance at yeah. all. Yeah, that'll definitely cause fuel delivery problems. And with what we want to put on the truck, we can't have fuel delivery problems. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, after he gets done there, we're going to start on the tune-up. So we'll get after it. Here's another indicator that the fuel filter is bad. Look at all that nasty sediment that's coming out of that fuel. Oh, you can see my finger. Not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be nice, clean, and, and good to go, but that's gross. So uh, I'm glad he's under there changing that out because that could have cost us some problems down the line. And uh, we'll get the hood popped here in a minute and we'll start working on the engine. All right, we got uh, Greg's new project here. We're gonna be changing out the plugs and the wires on it. PCV, lots of stuff. It just needs a lot of attention. And uh, so we're gonna to get to that. So one thing to note on these Magnum motors, it's not quite like the old uh, school Chryslers and the Chevys. Um, number one is actually on the opposing side. It's facing, I guess it's kind of facing uh, cylinder one, three, five. five. Um, but we left number one on we don't know if this motor's been messed with before so but leave number one on then you can follow the firing order one eight four three six five seven two and uh yeah you can see on the intake manifold one eight four one eight four three six five seven two so that means that spark, spark plug wire one goes here that's why we kept it on and then we're going to follow that pattern spark plug wire eight goes here one eight four eight goes here four goes there three goes here six, six goes there five seven and then two
That's it's, number one. It's on. Oh. <laughs> what the f <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Right here. Okay. Yep. That's two. Yeah, that's good. That phone. Make sure I got the right. Dude, that watch is killer. That's badass. This uh, transmission detent broke, so we're going to fix it with a drill, because that's the professional way to do it. This here is what's known as the transmission yeah, detent cable, or throttle valve cable. Um, it's really important on these A500 transmissions, as it uh, gives the transmission throttle input, and the transmission adjusts. The amount of pressure put on the clutches and shifts based off of that throttle input. It's very essential to this transmission specifically because without that cable, the transmission doesn't know how much pressure to put on the clutches. So therefore, if there's no input, it doesn't put much pressure on the clutches. And under heavy throttle, um, it'll just basically slip and cook the uh, transmission. So you do have to have it. And we did go to the junkyard to buy another cable to replace it uh, appropriately. Uh, this was just a temporary fix. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go, go stomp on the throttle. <laughs> it's probably not coming off, dude. You may have to lube it. Yeah, I might have to. Spray some glue butts in there. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's working. Yep. It works just fine. I wouldn't even, I just, I would just kind of leave it as it is. It, it rotates enough. Alright, we got all the plugs and wires changed and cap and rotor and a PC valve, but it looks like it's broken. I don't know. We're going to put it all back together and fire it up, see what it does. Here goes nothing. Oh, over damn. Here's something. Yeah. Oh, the uh, breather tube. I won't even say that. Oh. You sure about that? It went away. Whatever it was, it went away. Weird. I heard it too. But now it's gone. Works okay. Maybe it was just the throttle body. Oh, it might have been. Idle air control yeah. on the thing. It's just, it was. Yeah. It runs pretty smooth. smooth. Well, damn. Hey, can you hit the power unlock button? Thanks. I think it's a console truck. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around, and see, because I've seen these in the, you know, in the, uh, in the. 
the crew cab ones. I don't know if it's an original or not, but uh, we'll find out. All right. I should put the white doubles. That I yeah, can hell I yes. Those. All right, let's see what happens. I wonder if it turn. It's the power steering. You can hear it's like, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the steering. It's already leaked like... out since I put some in the other day. We gotta fix that. Yeah. It's pretty powerful though. It's it feels got, strong. It's got the torque. Yeah. That it's got V6 that 390 gear had. too. Yeah. So. Okay, we're about to modify the engine for race purposes only. In Mexico. In Mexico. All right. So, and if you guys can see here, like we can see here, there is a whole bunch of vacuum lines everywhere. And guess what? They're all brittle. They're all breaking. And we're just going to go ahead and do away with the unnecessary vacuum line for race purposes only. Yeah, uh, that's that's meant to do that, right? Exactly. That that looked that looked amazing. Can you show me that again, real quick? Oh yeah, that, that looks pretty fantastic. That's just the. Uh, oh look at that! There. Oh yeah. Do you, oh. <laughs> Why did I get the die? Why did I get these? You really don't need them. <laughs> Done a race mod for racing purposes only. Remove the evaporative canister and move some other vacuum lines around. So far, so good. That's the IAC closing. Which one is? Oh, is it? R. Was that the exhaust that's blowing? I don't From know. The EGR? It's probably exhaust. Yeah, it's blowing exhaust out. Exhaust gas recirculator. So we'll we'll pop that one. We'll, we'll plug, plug that it. one. Plug it in a clamp, maybe. Maybe if yeah, we can find a clamp that's small. We can put a zip tie on it. As long as it's not sucking, it's not going to oh. hurt the car. Oh, it's blowing out. Excellent. Okay. Well, it looks like it's running good. We're going to put it back together and go uh, go take it up to the parts store. It just died. It just died. It just died.
we'll find out. Like I went, like I thought you had turned it off, and I looked up and there you are. I was like, what? Hmm. More to come on Greg's Dakota. <laughs> Y'all be good. <laughs>